Islam to everyone. So today's format uh, is, of the video is going to be a bit different. Uh, this is a game that I've been wanting to analyze for quite some time now, but I've recently you know, just gotten some time on my hands and I thought why not. Now, the reason we're analyzing this game here today is because uh, it's a very important reason. I think if you are, let's say, 2100, 2000 uh, rated player on chess.com or whatever, and you've been playing a lot of rapid, I'd say, and you know you're not performing that well on in classical chess. This might be the reason. So I want you guys to, you know, spend some time on this video, learn something, and uh, you know this game really encapsulates the essence of serious classical tournament chess really well, which is why I wanted to make a video on it. So the game uh, is between an international master from Kyrgyzstan versus Pakistan's national champion Mahfaz Khalid. Mahfaz had the black pieces and his opponent uh, had the white pieces at hand. The game is really interesting and I want you guys to, you know, analyze it with me. And obviously this video is going to be a bit different than the other videos we've had on the channel. Uh, we will, uh, you know, we, nothing fancy, we're just going over the game and I'll be uploading it as is. So. Opponent began with the move knight to f3. Now over here, if you guys uh, see something, we have Art Vega, which is Mafaz's uh, online repertoire on our left, right? And something very important uh, to be seen in, from this game. We have knight to f6 and b3. Now b3 does catch him off by surprise because, you know, you're playing classical chess and your opponent plays the system. B3 being a very flexible setup, okay? You're not committing to anything right now. But, uh, okay, you need to now think to yourself, how am I going to, you know, actually proceed now? Because, you know, I can take this game in a million different directions now. I can play as I do online. I can go with G6. Bishop B2, you know, just Fien Keto this way. Bishop B7. B3. Uh, castles. Just do what I do usually, right? Or I can do something else. You need to think to yourself, right? What am I going to do? Mafaz thinks for time sometimes and comes up with the move d5. He has not played this online ever. Uh, but okay, he's just he's decided that I'm going to play cla uh, chess. I'm just going to play classical chess now. Why the move d5? Because obviously he knows that uh, c5, c4 is going to be a plan in some time, so maybe just take away that square right now. Bishop b2. And now c5. We have the move e3, g6, c4. And now over here, uh, Mafaz goes for a thing, right, and takes over here. What else do you, options do you have, really? You need to think to yourself, okay, what can I do? You've entered into a, you know, opening, and now you need to see where you're going to take this game to. So you need to think to yourself, okay, what are the options here? You can push, but then take stakes, you lose a pop. So you can't really push. What else can you do? You can play something like this, but you don't want to play this because of the fact that, you know, this uh, really, this really uh, gets you. This becomes a really weak, so you don't want to play e3 and just locks in your bishop as well. You can play stuff like this, but then after take stakes, this is coming uh, either way. So, what did Mafaz do? Mafaz actually took over here. Yep, bishop captures c4, and now you can see sort of how white's bishop here gets uh, really good activity. Bishop to g7, bishop goes back to e2. And we have the move b6. Knight to a3. Knight to a3 because you want to uh, push your knight up over here. And b6 after a long thing of a few minutes. Because you need to really think how am I going to, you know, what am I going to do with this position? So he tries to play a double field keto setup. And uh, okay. You can put your bishop over here, take over here. Right? What else? You have ideas of playing your knight over here, controlling that. You can even play your knight over here to here, so you can sort of have control over these squares and counteract the impact of this knight right here. So, 
castles uh, castles and d4 after d4 you notice that he goes into his first long think because now you have to uh, ask yourself some real questions what do i do obviously one idea is to totally ignore the fact that the spawn is over here if he takes you trade down but you trade down into an end game where uh, your pawn is isolated right and you don't want to go into that end game right okay other option is just taking taking over here let's see what happens if you take takes here uh here no that doesn't work uh what else is there i guess this preparing this but then again uh this pawn becomes a bit weak e pawn right what does the engine say here engine says it's equal but uh, you know but what happens is that you need to think you need to analyze and you need to come up with a plan so c captures d4 bishop captures d4 knight bd7 now you know you can continue with this it's a perfectly playable idea option pushing pushing well, not pushing maybe because you allow an outpost over here but all in all uh, i think this is a much more comfortable position for white to play but okay instead mafaz comes up with this move why because let's say if takes you can play this and suddenly you are the one with the nice outpost and if he plays this you can simply bring a knight back over here control this strong square right here trade queens and you know you have the open file as well and you're doing pretty much pretty fine okay in the game what was played in the game white replied with knight to b5 now knight to b5 uh after d5 you know they're taking a lot of time which is what i want you guys to see at the time the time stamps really knight to b5 what does knight to b5 accomplish obviously if you take over here uh, white is going to put a good piece on a central outpost which is the d4 square and you need to think to yourself because you know this could be incoming in the future as well we'll just thus we can this but uh, let's not diverge into that at the moment so you need to come up with a plan now it's white to move it's black to move and you have an hour and 6 minutes on your clock and now just think what do you think is the best move here well let's uh, go over some ideas uh, shall we so d captures c5 uh, he puts a piece over here right what do you want to do the pawn break that exists in the position is e4 you want to play e4 takes takes and have a good piece over here right okay you have that so maybe the rook to e1 right what's wrong with the rook to e1 rook to e1 is a move and even this is a move but this just runs into this and you know you isolate your pawn and that's going to become a target so you don't want to move your knight just yet rook to e1 seems uh, logical to me you want to sort of push rook to e8 sorry and maybe this can become an idea put a strong piece on e4 and push well not really push because of the fact that this knight bishop jumps over here so okay. what does black white play here let's just put a piece over here right now what do you do the threat over here is this and if you play e6 that could sort of work so e6 and now i think this is this is not a bad situation to be in or is it well it is actually the engine says it's a bad situation to be in so what is wrong with this uh okay here and here what if i go here e6 takes takes ah the knight jumps in you see that is why uh you can't really play e6 in this position right because the knight jumps in and this is something that you need to look out for in classical chess really. 
so the move queen to b8 over here was played queen to b8 because you can uh, obviously this is going to happen and you need to sort of counteract that somehow so knight to e5 does come and rook to d8 sort of you know just uh, eyeing for this square bishop to c4 and e6 e6 now isn't that uh, is, is playable because of the fact that you know you don't have this resource existing in the position now queen to e2 both sides have now spent considerable amount of time why queen to e2 let's see now which move was it that black spent all this time on basically he's spending a lot of time basically on a lot of these moves so queen to e2 is uh, pretty simple you're pressuring uh, the misplaced knight on e5 i need to think what if you want to do do you go back here if here uh, i guess this goes back here maybe even take stakes take stakes rook over here right so for example uh, maybe something like even here i guess here 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 i guess you, if you take back over here uh, rook goes over here and uh, suddenly your queen is a bit misplaced uh, you go here and what does the engine say equal what's the line correct this is what i see so this is all of my analysis basically pretty live so yeah engine agrees with this so uh, Queen to e2 was played, right? And c captures d4, bishop captures d4, and knight to b4. Putting some pressure on the square. Obviously, this is gonna be coming in the future as well if white allows it. So, queen to b2 is played. Queen to b2 uh, adding pressure over here. So, maybe something like, I don't know, queen to b2. Let's see what can happen. Uh, something like I'd say okay here takes here right that would be a line or here I don't know so queen to b2 basically puts pressure over here it's a dubious move no doubt but it is a move nonetheless so you start off with what pushing away the pieces exactly with a6 you push away this now a6 uh, taking over here doesn't work because of the fact that after takes, 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 uh, this piece is spent over here and you get a win it. Well, obviously you can play this, but uh, then this also incomes and uh, a very much pleasant position for back to play. So that doesn't work really. So knight to c3, knight goes back, and now what? You can push b5, pushing away his minor pieces even more they go back and now you need to uh, come up with a decision what move you should what's the plan here right you've pushed away the pieces right you're up against your opponent is down to 14 minutes on the clock on the 18 and okay the opening has gone your way a little bit but now comes the part where you actually convert the pieces are on the board the money pieces are on the board uh, there is some sort of situation that's going on and now you need to think what is the thinking process, right? What's the thinking process going to be like? Well, there are two ways actually. Number one, you can think uh, tactically or you can think positionally, you're slowly improving your pieces, putting them on key squares. So there is that. Obviously, uh, knight to h5 is a line that the engine recommends, which is quite ugly. No human would ever play that. It simply takes, takes, I don't know what's up with the engine, I guess. Okay, and then it's just taking over here, I don't know. Okay, so opening up an attack. What's the, the wish? That's an attack. Playing tactically, the engine suggests tactical chess. Over here, you can simply take over there, and now there's immense pressure on this file. You move the knight, you can't move the knight, right? You go here. Here, what, what, where are you going to put the knight at? There's immense pressure. That's a line that the engine recommends, but I don't see it. A, a human playing that ever. 
So positionally, let's see. What if we put the knight on this square? A very natural move. Some things a lot of you, you know, it's a move a lot of people might make. Thinking, okay, if he takes take, it's the same idea right here. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, white has this resource right here. And now after takes takes, the dark squares become extremely weak, and you have no useful discovery, right? So the dark squares become really weak, and you're gonna get mated pretty soon. So instead, knight to c. So this does not work at all. You need to calculate all that, right? And reach the evaluation that okay, this position isn't gonna be that good for me. What else? What else is good? Okay, do we want to move this knight or do we want to play something else? We can't move a queen that much because of this, right? It's no good choice to move the queen. The bishop is on a good square. Maybe it's something with this knight. Maybe we bring out this knight right here. Okay, let's see what happens then. What does the engine say? The engine says takes, uh, takes. Okay, makes sense. And now after this. There isn't okay. The game continues into a fashion of sorts, but it's pretty difficult to evaluate the position because obviously a3 is incoming, and your knight has to go back. It's something that is happening, right? So instead, what do we have here? Bishop e2. In the game, knight to c6 is played directly. But obviously, a3 is gonna be incoming, and you want to, you know, just get ahead of the crowd. Knight captures c6, bishop captures c6, and over here, rook fd1 is played. Why is rook fd1 a blunder? Indian calls this a blunder. Why? Because of a very positional move that is e5. You push away the minor piece, okay? Minor piece goes back. And you play queen to b7. Queen b7 just adds pressure on this diagonal. You have to play f3 now. And now, uh, engine says, okay, this is even worse. What is the move here? Well, I guess the natural move that was played was e5, b4 here, just pushing it away. But actually, uh, this is where uh, you need to really have to put on your thinking caps. Okay, what does b4 accomplish? So b4. We're looking at the line of that one in the game, knight to a. Uh, actually, uh, knight a4, and now, okay, you can take here, here, play this, consolidate. But then this knight ends up over here, and you can't really push. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? Sorry about that, okay. Here, here, and now. After this, here, this pawn is undefended, right? You need to protect that. So, knight to d7, look a c1 and d4. Now, this is uh, the line that he chose, and it seems pretty logical, right? It seems pretty nice. Uh, this is still a good position for back from a human perspective. Because obviously, you're gonna be taking over here, you have opened this up, uh, all sort of stuff, all sort of stuff, really. So, instead, what, what did the engine recommend instead of d4 here? Engine recommends the immediate, the immediate uh, e4 over here. Yeah, sorry, the immediate uh, knight to d7 over here. Attack an undefended piece, right? This has to move. I mean, you can't really push something like this because of this. Now that. Okay, you can, I guess, do this, but then just take, and uh, let's say, okay, uh, what's the move here, right? So this position gets really cramped real soon. You can't even push, like, let's say, okay, you say, okay, I'm not going to push anything, uh, do anything. You can simply just take stakes. And now this becomes a very very strong bishop. So why did uh, speaking on classical chess? Why did you, why do you guys think that, did he miss it? Why did he move the, uh, miss the immediate knight to b4 and instead of for this? We have two options basically this or this. 
he basically sort of maybe argued the fact that this is stronger uh, because over here because of the fact that it opens up a direct attack but it's slow it's very slow why because now there's nothing behind the queen so in a sense the lesson that we learned from here is that you need to be quick you need to execute your ideas more quicker that's what i learned that's what i think is the idea that you will learn from here and obviously this is much more forcing over here okay in, in the game this line was played let's see here takes 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 and now why didn't you take over here why do you guys think he didn't take, take over here what's the tactic what's the underlying tactic yes no that's not the tactic is this the tactic i guess it, this seems like the tactic okay here as if here we go here and here 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 is there something is there something i don't see it you said the piece but you don't get anything because of the chat even here you go here uh you just have a piece really you don't even need to do much let's just valve the engine with the engine says to this mode taking over here engine says is take over here so okay, he did not take the piece because of some unknown reason probably the fact that i don't know mafaz seems to be up to pawns and you know definitely okay okay you got great queens really because of the fact that mafaz for whatever reason did not choose to go into this line okay you lose a piece it's a four use a piece here which is why he did not take the pawn but uh, okay the line that i saw was also i guess something but okay you need to make decisions right and the decision he chose over here was playing rook to e8 going after this uh, just attacking both pawns going to d2 and still you don't go over here you attack the pawn even further but now he just pushes e4 and now you don't have much here here the knight now lands on a good square and now again you're up in a better position against the international master his king side is open you have a centralized piece now you need to think you need to come up with a plan what's the plan here obviously one plan is to go here here for the queen side attack but mafa shows this line why because he thinks that you know the queen and the spin on this diagonal against the king is going to be very good right and okay f4 is played and what do you guys think is the most natural move here f4 okay f4 very interesting stuff here that's happening because of the fact that okay here what do you guys think is most interesting because okay let's evaluate what's happening right you have this uh, thing going on over here so the queen really isn't here right now you can sort of argue and you have to move this knight the knight is hanging so now you, now you think you think to yourself what is it that i'm going to do So knight to c6 is a very natural move that I see, right? But the engine calls this a bend. This this is what happens in the game as well. You attack this, and okay, this has to move, right? So like even let's say some place like look to d7. Here, 
what does this run into? This runs into what? I don't know. Anyways, let's just evaluate why what what the correct move over here was. What if we take? But then he takes. But then we take. So he takes. So if he takes, we take over there. And now can he give a check? He will probably give us a check. We don't want to take. Very complicated line, right? And now here. And we're sort of doing worse here, really. Yeah, we're sort of doing worse here. Let's see. If we had taken over here, let's see. He'll take over there. And now, what do we have here? Can we even move our bishop back? I guess move our bishop back really and then this diagonal is pretty strong. What does the engine say? Engine says okay, there's still this move. That's where the real mistake lies. You need to stop this so you go back here. And then here, I mean this is a line right, you can play this. I really like this, do this, but okay, what happened in the game? What else is logical? Engine says rook over here. That's what the engine says. Why? Because okay, if you take over there, we take over there, and then takes and takes. Obviously, now the thread is pretty simple of this. So maybe this, we take over there, and now you can't really do much. So here, here, oh, sorry about that. Here, you go here. And it takes, you take over here. You enter into an end game. So this is what uh, engine says. But okay, knight to c6. Uh, this is the problem with knight to c6 is that. The bishop no longer guards the square, so you sort of have to move the queen. And after takes, 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 uh, an attack, just, you just get to the simple attack. So where did he go wrong, really? What happened? He miscalculated. He found a natural looking move that wasn't correct. Instead, he should have looked into this idea, I think. Just taking over here, that's really forced. But finding rook to c8, how do you find moves like rook to c8? How would he have come to the conclusion that rook to c8 is the best move? Okay, rook to c8 in hindsight is a findable move. I think you're just adding pressure, right? Then you just have so much time to calculate. You have to calculate this, as well as the fact that, okay, you have to calculate this and you have to calculate this. This, you think to yourself, I don't need to calculate that much. I'm attacking this rook. That's all I'm doing. And the rook moves anywhere, I gobble up the pawn. That's probably what you thought, right? As you can see, they're down to some seconds and minutes. That's probably what happened. So you need to think. Even when you're down on time, you need to evaluate these things. So, okay, this happens, this happens, this happens, this, this. And now the queen jumps in. Look at it. And queen to d3. Knight to d3, sorry. Last chance for white to equalize. Black to equalize. What do you do? So he played queens. That's something you want to do. And notice how he did not take with this way. Even though this might seem enticing. That okay, he moves the knight. I'm gonna push this back here. But then you just get forked. What does he do? He takes with the bishop. Why? Because he knows that this knight has no real future here. So the knight moves here, here, and now you pick up the pawn. So now you're you're white, you're up a pawn into an endgame. That's pretty equalish. All the things have been turned off. You're down to a minute, yes. But you should be able to convert this as white, right? This is what happens. King to f8, rook to c7. 
inserted it. Check, check. And now you can't really give another check really because you know then you just run into this problem and this is hanging as well. So you go back here first. Now here, 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 and now okay. You are seeing that you are getting desperate now. You are getting desperate. And I'm pretty sure this is a very losable game now. Okay, what did what can we learn from here? This why does go on to lose black does go on to lose the game. But okay, there's still some stuff that happened in the game that we can analyze. Okay. Now from this position onwards, we're just gonna skip to the good part. Over here, okay, obviously he has to take takes. And now let's see what's happening here, right? You've entered into the sort of end game where okay. Black's only saving grace is the fact that he has this pawn right here, right? Sort of get that into a queen. White has this pawn right here. White is up a pawn as well, but not for long. I'm beginning to think, what is the move here? What do you want to play? It's white to move. White goes for king to e2, which is an instant draw. Because the move g catches f4. So, here, here, what now? We pick up this pawn, right? Instead, uh, what can you play? What if black had went here, right? White had went here. This seems like a very playable move. Here, I don't know. What if here, right? Because that seems to be the only cause of concern. Uh, and if you move back, you get mated, right? If you go here, you're getting mated. If you take takes, then okay, this is probably what he was worried about. What does the engine say? Yeah, okay, black is winning this. So that, that, that's sort of move that can be played. Then instead suggests here, here, and now what if you go here? I guess the same idea here. You don't do anything, right? What if you go here? Should march on to victory, and white should be winning this. The engine agrees with this evaluation. This is uh, what the engine wants, really. This move here, here, and now you just push this, and the line doesn't go because the line that I showed you. But instead, uh, king to e2 is a mistake. Why? Because of g captures f4. Knight captures f4 and knight to e5. Okay, don't even take the pawn. Can you take the pawn? No, you can't because of this move. This is why I end so weird. Okay, so you correctly evaluate the fact that you need to bring a knight back. So we have knight to d5, knight to c4, knight d3. Knight d3, uh, you really have to push over here, and now you just one switch away from winning. And now, with this thing that's going on right here, I think, yeah, this is something that's you know gonna put a stop to all the plans right here. So, now the only thing that you need to be worried about is this. So, this mo moves makes just a lot of sense to me. Just going over here, and if ever over here, just give a check here, check. And you obviously can't take, 
so here I'm just you know even picking this up well not really because this is what the engine says I don't know so here 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 it's crazy crazy stuff so your end games need to be really super sharp really that's what I've left I've got away with this so but here here F6 let go of the knight but then you're gonna queen so back here queen queen and now what's the situation here this happens and now you have to take here you got to take there here and now this pawn is gonna go over the board right so what are you gonna do you're gonna take over here in hindsight maybe maybe just going over here first would have been better obviously black is winning but you know this 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 now where the knight gets trapped really so you need to be wary of such stuff 100 end games you must know that could be a book that you know you definitely must do here 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 and here and now obviously there's a thing to do and you lose the game so yes that is it now what are the key takeaways from this game they spent very they spent a lot of time in the opening which is i guess a good thing but then we didn't have enough time for the end game and some natural looking moves weren't so natural and uh, black didn't calculate all that much i mean he did probably calculate a lot but uh, he didn't calculate at the right times in hindsight i think uh, another game that i saw was of moment fazan where he just played natural looking move According to position, that really didn't need to be calculated that much. Played stuff that you know that didn't require that much of calculation, and went on to convert the game. But the idea that we sort of look at over here is the fact that okay, sometimes moves that look really natural aren't that natural, and you need to be pulled. This is probably the part of the game that we need to look at the most. That okay, this was winning by a huge margin. It's just this, but then just this. Uh, what can we do? We need to have a lot of key, the key takeaways are that we need to evaluate and we need to look at end games, we need to study end games, we need to study positions that require us to calculate, come up with the best candidate moves, and you know, just moves that help us win the game. So, yeah, it's been what a 37 minute long video, and uh, thank you all for joining. See you next time.